Hi everyone, welcome to our new grammar lesson. Today we're going to speak about adjectives and adverbs. First, you need to know that adjectives describe nouns or pronouns. For example, when I say the beautiful girl, girl here is the noun, right? And I described the noun or the girl with the word beautiful which is the adjective so beautiful here is the adjective and i use it to describe the noun girl okay adverbs modify or describe verbs adjectives and other adverbs for example when i say she spoke loudly okay so how did she speak she spoke loudly okay so it described the verb the adverb loudly describe the verb spoke okay we'll see further examples and understand better with reading this table together okay uh, here the first column in the first column we have adjectives and in the second we have adverbs as we said adjectives describe nouns and they have the same form in the singular and plural Okay, what does it mean? They have the same form in the singular and plural. Okay, I will tell you. When we say the beautiful girl, can I say the beautiful girl? No, I cannot. I cannot add S to this word, beautiful, which is the adjective. I cannot make it plural. Okay, it's the same for singular and plural. But what can I do? Yes, I can add this S, the letter S, to the noun, girl. It will be girls. So I can make the noun plural. Okay, it can be singular or plural, but I cannot change the adjective. Okay, it's the same in the singular and plural. Okay, here uh, they come before the nouns they describe. Okay, we have two positions in which adjectives can come. They come before the nouns they describe and this is number one and they come after some verbs we will read them together later so let's start here with uh, the nouns if we have a noun they come before it okay if we have an adjective that describes a noun the adjective will be before the noun here for example this is a big elephant where is the noun who can tell me yes right elephant elephant is the noun and which word describes uh, this this word or this noun big right okay so the elephant the elephant wa was big big the elephant was big so here is the adjective okay and the adjective came before the noun the word big or the adjective came before the noun elephant these are big elephants the plural form so i put s or the letter s to the noun elephants okay and here again we have the adjective big before elephants okay what about the second position they come after these verbs okay the most important important verb is verb to be okay of course you know that it can be am is or are and in the past form can be was or were so whenever I have verb to be and I have an adjective, it comes, the adjective comes after verb to be. And we have other verbs like look, seem, smell, sound, feel, or taste. Okay? If we have an adjective and we have one of these verbs, we put the adjective after this verb. Okay? For example, she is tired. So what did we do here? We have verb to be is and tired is the adjective so i put tired or the adjective after verb to be right so number two he seems excited where is the adjective excited right and where is the verb seems so i put the adjective after the verb number three the flower smells nice smells nice okay so nice here is the adjective and i put it after the verb smells okay they can be more than one adjective so i can get or put two adjectives or more in a sentence okay so i can put more than one adjective in a sentence for example he has got an old wooden box so 
old and wooden are two adjectives. Okay, and they came together in one sentence. She is a beautiful young lady. Beautiful and young. So I described the lady or the noun here with two adjectives, and that's okay. Okay. Moving to the adverbs. As we said before, adverbs describe the way in which something happens or describe the verb. Okay? And answer the question beginning with how. Okay? We will understand better when we see or read the examples. Okay? They describe verbs. She speaks English fluently. So how does she speak English? How? She speaks English fluently. So it answered the question that started with how. Okay? Remember the example I told you about? She spoke loudly. So how did she speak? She spoke loudly. Okay? And the second usage or the second description, they describe adjectives. Okay? So we use adverbs to describe adjectives. Okay? So we use adverbs, we can use adverbs to describe adjectives, to give a degree to this adjective. Okay, so we have adverbs such as very, quite, completely, extremely, and they come before the adjective to describe it. Okay, he is extremely tired, he's not just tired, no, he's extremely tired, he's very tired. Okay, so it, it gave uh, a degree to this uh, adjective. Okay. And the last uh, usage, we use adverbs to describe other adverbs. He ran very quickly. So very quickly, here we have two adverbs. Okay, one of them, which is very, described the other, or the second adverb, which is quickly, very quickly. Okay. Okay, here we have examples of adjectives and the nouns pronounced they modify or describe. The first example is, she wore a yellow shirt to the picnic. Where is the adjective? Yes, yellow. Okay, this is the adjective. And it described the noun, it described the noun shirt. Right? So yellow describes the shirt. The second example, my bedroom was messy. So where is the noun? Yes, it's here, bedroom. But here we have the adjective. It's at the end, why? Because if you remember, we have verb to be, which is was. And after verb to be, we have the adjective, right? So here, messy describes the noun bedroom. Okay, the last example, uh, she lost her blue and white bag. Here we have two, two adjectives in, in this sentence. Can you tell me about them? Yes, blue, the, this color, colors can be adjectives, okay? And white. So blue and white are adjectives uh, and they describe the bag, okay? Blue and white describe the color of the bag, okay? Great. Here we have examples of adverbs and what they do. David was extremely grumpy. Extremely describes how grumpy David was. So here we have an adjective which is grumpy and we have an adverb okay, that describes the adjective. Extremely, extremely describe the adjective. Okay. The runner easily finished first okay the runner easily finished where is the verb finished okay and how did he finish or how did the runner finish okay he finished easily okay so easily here is the adverb okay easily describes how the runner finished the race Okay, the last example, Jack, my oldest. Okay, the last example, Jack, my oldest brother, drove slowly. Okay, by, by his friend's house. So, how did he drive the car? He drove it slowly. 
So slowly, or the adverb here, described the verb, okay? Okay, now let's move to another point, which is, how do we form adverbs, okay? We have different ways. Let's read them. The first one, we usually add ly to the adjectives. So we mainly, or we usually add ly to the adjective to uh, change it uh, into uh, an adverb. Okay, like but for example, but it will be badly, nice will be nicely. Okay, so bad here and nice are adjectives, and I added ly to them to change them into an ad uh, adverbs. Okay, number two, adjectives ending in le. What should we do? We drop the e and add y. So simple will be simply. What did I do here? I dropped the letter E and I added one. Terrible would be terrible. Number three, adjectives ending in a consonant plus Y. Drop the letter Y and add I L Y. So lucky. You're so lucky. We have the K here and Y. So we, what should we do? We dropped the Y and we added I L Y. Okay, easy. We have the letter S, which is a consonant, and after it we have Y, so we dropped the Y and we added I L Y. Number four, adjectives ending in L, the letter L. We add L Y, so we double the L actually. So careful, carefully, we have double L. Hopeful, hopefully. Okay, number five. Adjectives ending in IC, we add A double L Y. So basic. Here we have IC at the end, so it will be basically. Automatic, it will be automatically. Okay? Except for, here we have an exception, public. Here it ends with uh, IC, but I didn't add A double L Y, I just added L Y. Okay? Publicly. Okay? Here we have some adverbs that have either a totally different form, like the, the, the word or the adjective good, okay? Or they have the same form as the adjectives, okay? Here we have good, and to make it an adverb, we say well. Hard will be the same, hard can be an adjective or an adverb. Late, late, fast, fast. Early, early, long, long, near, near, high, high. So these words are the same as adjectives and adverbs, except for good. Okay? It will be well as an adverb. Okay. Now I will leave you with a video to sum up what we said.
Okay, guys. Thank you. That was our lesson. See you next time. Goodbye.